Wizard of West LA here. Today we're going to talk really quickly about connectors and how you can connect power connectors to devices. Uh, you can use it for Arduino, you can use it for all different products, remote controls, uh, drones, everything, uh, anything that requires some sort of power. So lately I've been using a uh, power adapter or a power plug to get to Oh, everything from SCADA packs to amateur radios to remote controls, drones. And this is what I, I use right now. Actually, what I'll do is I'll pull one of the adapters out. These are called Dean's connectors. And these, these do take high amperes. And they come in uh, male and female connectors. I think I'm out of male. Ah, here's a male connector. An example of how they work. This is the male connector and then they have the female connector. And you can see how they're made. One has a, a cross connection and the other is a straight connection. The cross connection is usually positive. That's the way I do them, it's positive. I've seen it that way on products too. And they match like this. They go through and you just match, you just match the connectors through and there you have a connection, and then you solder wires on the other one. These are good in that they, high, they, they handle high amperes. Weight is very little for a device. The only problem I was having is having to solder over and over again to make, uh, for other things I'm using, like for SCADA packs, which we've had on the program and different things like that, you don't necessarily have to use these to interconnect. You know, you could use them for 12 or 24 volts. Uh, yeah, actually, yeah, you can use them for 12 or 24 volts is usually what we stick to. And the problem I had with these was signing them and I'm going to some remote locations now and doing some work and soldering them is becoming a hassle. So what I did, and the other thing about it, is power distribution. I was looking for something. I was looking for something that had one male or, or one female plug. And on the line, it had a whole bunch of male plugs where you can plug in a bunch of uh, different products or the opposite. One male plug and a bunch of female plugs where I can plug them in. So you end up having... So you end up having to make joiners like this that have one male plug and then you do a bunch of soldering to get the other female plugs. Like this, you can do, obviously I have better ones. This is just an older one I had laying around. And you can do a nice job on them. You can, here, I'll show you a nice one you can do. You can actually, I think I'm out of the other ones. You can do a nice uh, shrink wrap on them. This one's actually not a good one. You can shrink wrap all the way here. You can actually shrink wrap all the way here and bring it down, they look really nice. So my solution was to go with and this is gonna interchange with a lot of different things. My solution was actually to go with Anderson Power Poles. And I'll put a link. And I like using these because I have a high voltage Anderson Power Pole in the back of my car to hook up a battery that runs a three kilowatt inverter on an electric vehicle. So. And that's running, it's larger than these, but that's running, uh, that runs up to 100 or 250 amps. I forgot what it is on there. These are what these look like. And on here, you have the ends that go to the wire, like these. You have the ends that go to the wire. And what you do is you slip these inside. You crimp them, that's a difference. You don't have to solder them. Although if the wires are really thin, maybe, I, it's good to solder them, but not when you're dealing with larger wires. And you slip them in here, and you click it. And you end up with two wires, I'll give a demo. And you end up with a positive and, and a negative, which is really nice. And they're also colored. Here's the other thing with these. You don't have to worry about ender, any gender uh, problems with these, because it's only one plug needed, and I can solder. What I love is I can uh, clip and make a whole bunch of these together and on all my products and I don't have to worry about oh am I using the the male one or am I using the female one 
doesn't matter. That's the one reason I like these. And plus, I may try one of these on my drone. They're not too big. They're not that much weight. It's not too bad. And with that, you use a crimper to crimp them. And you put the, the parts in there. So let me do a demo. So here we have an end. I'm going to remove this end. And I'm going to... Oh, by the way, here's a good connection you can do. You can... Uh, what I like to do is to shrink wrap them so you have a holder. That's the other thing. When you shrink wrap them, if you do use Dean's connectors, I'll give a, another video on Dean's connectors because I use them both. If you do use Dean's connectors, put a shrink wrap on them so when you pull them, it has some strength that doesn't, because I've had a solder come loose. So it's really nice to put a shrink wrap on these. That really, really helps a lot. So that's one thing you should do with, with Dean's connectors. So what I'm going to do with this one, is I'm going to remove this one off of here. And the nice thing, is that this is a, uh, a joiner to join two female ones of, of Dean's. Now it doesn't matter, because I can use either, either one of these. It doesn't matter if it's male or female. That's what I like. So I'm going to divide the center, which the center is done. And we're going to strip the wire, and this is about a 16. Yeah, there we go. This is nice, good size. Doing thinner wires is a bit of a challenge, even for even for Dean's connectors. So now we have now we have some nice wires. And what we do with this. We pull two connectors on here. The nice thing, it doesn't matter what goes positive or negative. It doesn't matter at all. It's what I like about this. And I can make these faster than actually the Dean's connectors. I like to put them facing down, try to do that on both, but it really doesn't, really doesn't matter. So here's the crimper. I'm gonna put them inside the crimper. I'm gonna crimp it down. See, so then I put the part on there. That works. And then we have this one. I'm going to point this one down. I'm going to put it in and let's crimp it. And I'll leave a link for the crimper. Like I say, the ratchet one works better. And that is crimped. Both of them are crimped on there. Now here's the trick to this. Obviously negative goes to the negative line. The trick to this, if you look inside I'm gonna kind of do a close up. If you look inside, you will see the, there's different sides on this. There we go. If you can look through it. What you want to do is put the line, put it with the block part down. Here's the easiest way to do it. There we go. You see the, the little strip of, of uh, of metal inside and what you want to do is match this like this down so it will go in like this and it will click and it will lock in there so put the block down put that little block part down and then aim it like this with the block part down and with bigger wire it's easier it clicked now if you look inside that is done. No soldering needed. I love it. And it's clicked in there. We'll do the same with the positive. These are way faster to do. Put the block part, the block part down, this part. And then I aim it like this. I turn it. And then I put this part down. And then you can see it slip in there. There. See it slip in? What it is, is that bottom part of the clip 
hits the metal and then you can't pull it the other way. Now on these, the last part of this, you can run them like this, you can run them separate. But what I like to do, this one has a little dimple on it. I don't think all of them do, but this one does. I usually match them, you, you could put them together. They have like a little, uh, oh, you can see it better in the video because I can magnify it, that's why. That's why. The little indentation, you can put them next to each other and slide them. Look at that, you have them together. And I'll show you the difference. Because now, when you hook them together, there's power distribution networks. This is the one thing that's missing from Dean's. I love these. So you can run one power on this side, and it doesn't matter whether they're male or female. You can, you can put it on here. You can run one power in here on this side, and the rest are active. And now I just plug this you just match it in there like this you don't have to worry about male or female and that's it that's all there is to the dean's connector that's why i like these so there's power district there's really nice there's all different ones on the internet there's some with fuses this is a very simple one but there's some that have even 10 but they all they're fused there's all different ones and you don't have to open it up. You don't have to do any soldering. This is why I like this. And you just put them in. And you can pull from the plastic part. And you don't have to worry about disconnecting wires like the Dean's connectors. So this is what a power distribution network looks like. So I thought I'd share this with you. Just to show you how easy this is. And you just click them in there. And there we go. They're clicked in. This is a lot of misconception on the internet. Seeing that there's male and female and all these different parts. They're all the same. That's why I really like these connectors. So I thought I'd share this with you if you're trying to share power. And I will do another video regarding Dean's connectors and how to do those. But I'm really enjoying these. And by the way, I will zoom this in. A little extra bit of information. When I used to get these, there's a little post you stick in that hole in the center. On this, you can also... I haven't seen the post in my kit, the one I got. They used to have them, but I guess you can put a little a drop of uh, of glue or you can you can even shrink wrap it too. You could shrink wrap this and then slice it when you're done with it, but the connectors last on there and you can see they don't come out. That's what's so nice. Anyway, I just thought I'd share this information with you. And if you like the video, feel free to subscribe to the channel as we will be sharing a lot of information, especially now with power connectors easier to get than what they once were and a lot cheaper. I think this was $9. When I first started using Andersons, I've been using a long time, something like this was $40. I'll never forget. They were very expensive. They're very simple, easy to get. So remember, the most important thing, have fun with connectors and use them, and they're very useful, and keep on learning.